We are coming to you live from, well, I should say sunny, but it's kind of gloomy, San Diego <laughs> for this Next Gen Profits podcast. And we're your spiritual parents, Craig and Colette Toach. So it was uh, quite cold in Europe. London was cold. Northern <laughs> Ireland was cold. Denmark was cold. And we kept saying, oh, I can't wait for the nice warm sunshine of San Diego. There's no sunshine. <laughs> Guys, in the last three, four days that we've been here for the birth of our grandson, we have not seen sunshine. I'll tell you when the sun's coming out. The sun's coming out tomorrow when we head to Mexico. That's yeah, when the sun's yeah, coming out. Yeah. That's that's pretty much how it's going to be. Yeah, this, yeah. Th there's something prophetic there. I'm not sure what it is, but hey, yeah. if you're getting a word from God, myprophetictribe.com, be sure to share it with us. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I love uh, when I get on this microphone because I can be so real with you guys. I think you're the only <laughs> ones who really get my weirdness. Yeah. And and my aggression and all this crazy that goes on. I sometimes look at the the reels that we make, Craig, when we do our <laughs> preaching. I'm like, oh my goodness, I think I scare myself when I'm watching those reels. And then I, I read all the comments from all our prophets and they're like, oh, that's powerful. Oh, yep. that is so nice. Yes. That's lovely. And I'm like, are you and I watching the same reel? And then I realize, you know what, you guys? You're just the next gen prophets Amen. and we're built for you. We were mandated for you. That's right. And it seems That's that right. no matter what I say or do, you get me. Yes. And that goes well because today I want to speak to you about alignment. Okay. Mm. Now follow me here because God is aligning prophets in leadership yes. with apostles, with pastors, yes. with the rest of the fivefold ministry. And there's a lot of confusion. And whether Ooh, you realize it or not, God's been trying to align you but you haven't got it yet. Mm. You, you've tried to go to churches. Good. You've tried to connect yes. with other leaders. And sometimes it just went so bad and so wrong. You didn't know why. And you started asking yourself, okay, uh, mm. where did I mess up? But let me tell you something. When you find that perfect alignment, oh, it just clicks. It yes. clicks like you and I click. That's right. You know, I, I, I can say crazy things on this mic and you're like, that's just Apostle Colette. That's just what she does. And it's like, you get me. Sometimes yeah. I don't even need to finish my sentences yeah. because you already know what I'm going to say. How is that possible? Well, because we're so perfectly aligned. That's true. You know what I love about this is that when you have a desire, sometimes it doesn't line up with your mandate. Ooh. And this is where so many of us trip up. Because just think about this. I desire to go to this church with this kind of flamboyancy and what have you. But <laughs> my mandate is to a different one. Now, if I'm going to that church, I'm never going to fit in. I'm never going to feel like I've arrived. Which means I'm never going to start to fulfill the mandate God put on my life. So we're going to help you a little bit with that. Today, I want to speak in alignment, but I need you guys to come back again tomorrow because I'm going to give you five clues that are going to help you recognize your prophetic mandate. Mm -hmm. Let's get you positioned. Um, let's get you through the healing. Yes. In fact, I want to go so far past the healing stage and Please. get you positioned yes. because prophet, as you've come out of the wilderness, mm -hmm. as God has begun releasing you into the church, you need to make sure that you're positioned correctly yes. this time. Amen. The reason why you may have run to the wilderness before is because the alignment didn't fit. Mm -hmm. Check this out for a messed up, then fixed up alignment in the scriptures, okay? <laughs> Acts 15 verses 39 to 40. Then the contention became so sharp. How is it for you, prophet? Mm. Did the contention become so sharp? Because here in this scripture, it sure did. The contention became so sharp that they parted from one another. And so Barnabas took Mark and sailed to Cyprus. But Paul chose Silas and departed, being commended by the brethren to the grace of God. Mm. Sometimes a contention needs to arise. Yes. Now, I want you to go back to alignments you tried to make in the past mm -hmm. that kind of backfired, <laughs> where we dare say there was some contention. contention yeah. Now, why was there contention here? Paul and Barnabas were the best of buds. Yeah. I mean, th they liked each other. That's if it true. wasn't for Barnabas, Paul wouldn't even be introduced to all mm -hmm. the Christians in Jerusalem. Mm -hmm. So th they were tight. They were they founded the church in Antioch, really. Mm -hmm. They established it. So why this sharp contention? Because their mandates weren't aligned. Mm -hmm. And let me tell you something else. Mark and Silas, who were the prophets in this case scenario, they weren't matched with the right apostles at the time. Look go. at this. Yes. What did it say? Barnabas took Mark 
and things switched around and Paul took Silas. We see mm. two dream teams happening here. Oh. But for this dream team scenario, the contention had to come first. Yes. And this is what happened to you. There was some contention and you didn't understand it. And mm. it's because God needed you to align with an apostle that didn't match your likes, that didn't match your desires, that didn't even match your anointing. He needed you to align with an apostle that matches your mandate. Mm. And that revelation changes yes. everything. Yes. Stop looking for a leadership that feels mm. right. Stop looking for a leadership that matches your anointing because anointings come and go, but a mandate remains. That's so true because even your likes and dislikes and, you know, you can change that. Mm -hmm. You know, there are foods that I thought I would never eat. But, you know, we've traveled so much and met some amazing people that took us to dinner and put these weird foods in front of me. And, you know, over time, I actually came to love them. Mm -hmm. And that's the point. It's like even in the spiritual. Oh, I don't like that. Well, that's just because you haven't changed yet. You haven't been introduced to the right environment to change. Just allow the Lord to put you in the right position with the right apostle. Because when the two of you click. It won't take long and you will be finishing each other's sentences. You know, when I look at the people God has aligned me with, there's a lot of things we don't have in common. Yeah. Our anointings don't match. Some mm -hmm. are fiery evangelists, some are prophetic, some yeah. are teachers. Mm -hmm. All of us are so different, but yet at the core of it, our mandate is the same. Mm -hmm. I even look at the yeah. prophets and the teachers in my team specifically. Mm -hmm. We all have a passion for you guys, the yeah. next gen prophets. That's it's true. all our desire to see you equipped and sent into the body of Christ. We are all unified mm -hmm. in our mandate to reach you, to minister to you. I mean, if you go to myprophetictribe.com and you click that little chat button and speak to one of the team, you'll feel Craig and I all over that. Oh, yes. Why? Because our mandate is aligned. Yes. Now, Chaifa, she's way more pastoral than the rest of us. And so she might express that mandate with a much um, more nurturing nature. Yes, true. Okay? But yet our mandate is aligned. And Thank so you. it's one voice. And we're building the same foundation. And it just works because our mandate is aligned. It doesn't matter if somebody else expresses it differently, mm -hmm. if they're unique mm -hmm. in how they say it, in where right. they say it. It's the fact that our goal is the same. Each one of us reaching that goal differently, but our goal is the same. Now, I need you to go back to your experience. What happened the last time you aligned with somebody? I bet you at first you thought, well, we both think the same. Yep. Maybe we both feel the same. Um, I like the anointing and I like the message in this church. Oh, 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 yeah. And it didn't work, did it? Mm -hmm. Step back. Were your mandates aligned? Because God might even send you to a yes. church that isn't even spirit filled, but your mandates aligned. Yep. Uh, can I say that again? God may send you to a church that isn't spirit filled, that doesn't even believe in the gifts, but your mandates align. Now, time may come mm -hmm. where that church needs all those gifts, but that's another podcast. Yep. The point I'm making is don't just turn your back on that church because you don't like how they operate. You have to ask yourself, what is my mandate? What is their mandate? Mm -hmm. And if you've got a match, you found your church. Yes. If you've got a match, you found your apostle. Now, I can pick it up in the spirit. You're saying, okay, Colette, that's great that you're talking about aligning with another apostle, but I don't even know what my mandate is. Mm -hmm. You know what? We've got your back because you know what? Tomorrow we're actually going to go into how to find out what your mandate is. And so, guys... Right now, don't worry about that. Just pick up what Colette's saying in the spirit here. Understand where you can slot in to a dynamic team, like she said, and become that dream team that the Lord's called you to be. I hope that as you see that, you can let go of that past experience. You know, even though I'm trying to move on forward here in this podcast, I still pick up in the spirit. There are some of you that are still limping from the sharp contention that you had before. But you know, when I look at Paul and Barnabas and how they navigated that contention, mm -hmm. my favorite part of these two verses is these last few words at the end where it said, being commended by the brethren to mm -hmm. the grace of God. Mm -hmm. You keep on being focused on the contention and the strife and the severing that had to take place. But 
it's time to be commended by the grace of God. Mm. In other words, it's time to step out again by the grace of God, mm. recognizing that that sharp contention was essential to your process. This wasn't a case of them failing or you failing. Prophets, it's time to move so far beyond that now. Yes. It's time to be functional in the body of Christ. Mm. You know, as Colette's been speaking, Prophet, I feel your heart and I feel that hurt. And, and we said move past it. And you know, the greatest way to move past it is to realize your mandate. Hmm. Who has God called you to be? What is your process? What is your calling in life? And what do you need to achieve? Because if you're secure in that and you know what that is, when the contention comes, you understand it's God trying to break you out of a rut that you're stuck Come in on. and he's trying to put you in a new one so that you can fulfill your mandate. So please, let's find that out. Find your mm. mandate, find your calling, Kinda know where you're shutter. going so that when you start to feel things getting a little, un the water's getting rough around you, <laughs> it's because you're in the wrong place. You need to jump out of that and get into the calm waters and go where God needs you to go. Just again and again, I feel this shifting season yes. for you. And I see you yes. stuck in the mud, but the Lord's saying, no, 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 no. Mm -mm. Sharp contention yes. brought about my purpose. <laughs> now it's time to shift. It, you can't go forward looking back. No. It's time to let go of the mistakes mm -hmm. of the past. It's time to let go of those old alignments. Paul and Barnabas never came back together again. God never intended for them mm. to share the same mandate, no. you guys. So relax. Let it go. Yeah. You keep thinking there's there's somebody listening here today and you keep thinking, go, go back to that leader. You've got to make right, serve that leader again. Somehow make it work. The Lord says, no, Amen. I do not want you to align with that person yes. again. I have new leader that I want you to align with because mm. you need to move on to this new season as a mm. prophet in maturity That's to so function true. in the kingdom, Amen. to build in the kingdom. Yes. You are not the little prophetic who am I that you were those years ago, right? Mm. You know who you are now. Yes. You know that God has purpose for your life. So now mm. it's time to move forward and to mature, prophet. Mm. It's time for you to come out of the trenches, come out of the mud, Thank come you. out of those Thank old you. relationships and get new alignments because God has brought the apostles out mm. of the wilderness. Yes. Just like Moses has had his burning bush experience. He is heading for Egypt. And Aaron, are you on the way? Thank you. Are you on the way to match up that mandate so you can set God's people free? Mm. Because that's what it's about. Yes. As the apostles come out and come down from mm. the mountain, are you standing there, prophet, ready yes. to take their hand, ready to serve alongside them, to break the shackles of God's people and set them out of captivity now? Mm. We can't stay in the mire of our past hurts yes. anymore. No. We know how to receive inner healing. We know how to break free of demonic bondages. Guys, we're already on 389th episode of this podcast. We've taught you every subject there possibly could be on receiving your healing and going through. And Amen. now we've got a job to do. Yes. We need to put this prophetic anointing to work Amen. in the kingdom. But if you want a double fold anointing to work, you need to align yourself with leadership, Amen. with a fivefold ministry leadership, preferably with an apostle. Amen. If there's one in your region, if there isn't find a pastor that looks apostolic, that shares your mandate, go serve, go submit, Amen. go follow, go see what you can do to establish. Establish and build the kingdom. Fulfill mm. your function in the church. There's a lot that needs to be done Fire. before the Lord can mm. come. You want to yes. bring that revival? You want to bring that change? You want to see deliverance? You want to see demons cast yes. out? Well, then you need to align yourself. Now mm. is the season for that. Yes. Not just break you free of the chains Hallelujah. of the past, says the Lord. Right. And I smash every last chain mm. link that has held you back. For you are free indeed, my mm. child. Do not believe the lies of the enemy that keep you captive. Do not believe his sayings that say you will never rise up again. That you will always be in the mire. That you will always be cast out. That you will never be seen. I break that over your life in the name of Jesus Amen. and I say that your eyes will be open that you will see who you are that you will see where you're positioned Thank and that you will see the leaders right in front of your oh, eyes yeah. that God is calling you Same to serve yes. Amen. in Jesus name I feel so strongly mm. for you yes. come on guys we've got a lot of work to do we're doing a lot of that on myprophetictribe.com if you have a prophetic call because you know I've got a lot of uh, of the other fivefold ministry that moonlight on this podcast yeah. all of you are welcome to sign up right. to myprophetictribe.com we've got 
five different circles with tons of different benefits, every single one of them pursuing you for your call. Amen. You heard what I said. Mm -hmm. I pursue you to fulfill your call because I'm seeking God to release so many prophets who are equipped into the body of Christ to heal the brokenhearted, to set the captives free, to change this dynamic of the church. It needs the prophets. It needs the heart of oh, Christ beating in the church once again. That's you. Woo. That's yes. us. Yes. We're aligned for purpose. MyPropheticTribe.com. Come and sign up. And tomorrow, get right back here because we're going to be speaking on how to recognize your prophetic mandate. See you then, guys. Oh, see you then. Bye now.